left our alpaca farm where we were staying all last night and I really think that was my favorite place to stay. It was awesome. So my first experience with Harvest Host was so good. So we made it to Longmont, Colorado, which is our stop right outside of Rocky Mountain National Park. And we are staying with, for the first time, through Boondockers Welcome, uh, which is just really nice people that open up their properties to RVers and campers. Danny. Yeah. And um, so we're staying with this really nice older couple that have a little horse ranch out here and it's a beautiful area. And so we are excited to have this spot for two nights so that we can go explore Rocky Mountain National Park. Danny, you're great. <laughs> And so we just got back from a brewery down in Longmont and we met some really cool people. We really like them and we just get along with everybody here. And so we looked at the all trails maps of all the hikes that we wanted to do in Rocky Mountain National Park tomorrow. And all of the good ones are like, you need snowshoes, you need micro spikes with uh, waterproof boots and everything. So I don't think we're gonna be able to do that, but we were getting some suggestions from the locals for good hikes to do to, around here tomorrow. So we found some that were actually beagle friendly. So our plan is to go Let's do some Rocky hiking. Mountain. Yeah, Rocky Mountain National Park is not beagle friendly at all. So we're gonna bring Miss Beagle on some hikes tomorrow. I got the vegan cookies and cream ice cream from Walmart here. I've never seen this brand before, but it is absolutely delicious. And Danny got some Halo Top. For the protein. For the protein, yeah. For your muscles. For these bad boys, <laughs> you know. us some good advice of bringing Beasley in and just going on a drive through the park and they told us the best roads to go down for that so yeah
to the top. Look at this view. Easily's tired. It's so beautiful. How you feel, Danny? Tired. Elevation got me. Yeah, we're pretty high up. <laughs> drawn up so that he can be nice and warm while we go into Denver and go get some studying done and check out some breweries and um, some of the local businesses. So here's Gary. Are you loving life, Gary? Hmm? He's so spoiled. Look how long his tail is. You good boy. All right, so we're heading into Denver. We are staying at a place that's only like 30 minutes outside of Denver for free, which just blows my mind. This lady is so nice. She gave us uh, electric and water hookups and free range of all her acreage to walk Beasley and a little fenced in area for Beasley to go off leash. And it's totally free. And she's like so, so excited for us to be there and just seems like she really likes hosting young poor people that are traveling. So um, I'm really excited that we found her. She's really cool. So we're gonna go into the city and check it out and go to a bunch of different breweries and scope it out to see if there are some like dog friendly places so that we can bring Beasley tomorrow. Also my eyes are really red because I have really bad allergies and everybody's cutting hay out here right now. So that's why my eyes look like that. got back from our day in Denver so we went to a cool brewery and then we went to a place called Boo Boo that was like just really good healthy food food bowls like nourish bowls 
Um, and then we came back and I finally got to shower, like take a full shower because we've got water hookups because this, the lady that is hosting us is so nice. And then I cut my hair and layered it because it really needed it. So now it's a lot healthier on the ends. As you can see, and there's some layers in there. I had an angled layer around my face, but that was my first time doing that. So we'll see how I feel about it after I like actually get to go home and style it and see how it looks. But for right now, it feels a lot lighter and I feel good. And we're gonna just chill here. We haven't decided what to make for dinner. Um, but yeah, 